for a smoke, Lieutenant? Yeah, we're out of enemy territory. Light up. All right, take five. Lieutenant, when we started out on patrol this morning, you promised us a 24-hour pass when we got back. Does that still go, sir? Why, right, sure, Palmer. It's in the book. An officer may not break a promise. No kidding. They got a rule like that? You want to buy the Eiffel Tower, Palmer? today. It means he'll be back in time for the first race this afternoon at Ascot. I thought they didn't have horse racing in England on account of the war. It's propaganda, Palmer. It's pure propaganda. They hold the races in secret just for the Air Corps. I mean it. Nothing but the best for our flyboys. targets at 0800 sharp. Our approach pattern, 163 degrees at 3,600 feet. And remember, you cover for the man on your wing. Nobody peels off to chase bandits all alone. something? Every one of them gets to be a colonel when he's 21. Sure. Get to be a one-star general when they're 22. Happens. It happens. I guess those guys have got their problems. Problems? Softest job in the war. It's a cakewalk. Man 
Dispatch at 3 o'clock. Make a leader. Continue on target. Able flight. Scramble. Jason. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Lee Phillips. Captain Jample sent me to head you off, Lieutenant. What for? A hotshot pilot got knocked down. You're to go look for him. Well, what is this, Lieutenant? We've been out since 4 o'clock this morning. Where is he? Here, sir. Captain Jample marked off the spot where the pilot last pulled in before he bailed out. This stinks. I mean, no fly boy would come after me if I was in trouble. <laughs> hey, don't blame me, boy. This guy, Major Caldwell, is one of the biggest aces we've got. The brass figures he's worth a million bucks to our side. A million bucks? Well, how much am I worth? You tell me that. All right, cut it, Hannah. Corporal, can you give us a lift as far as the river? Yes, sir. Get in. Amerikanisches Kampfflugzeug ist hier abgeschossen worden. Sucht nach dem Fallschirm und findet ihn. Fahrt!
have gotten them easy. Sure. Had the rest of the unit down on our heads. This whole area must be crawling with Krauts. Yeah. They're here for the same reason we are. How do you figure, Lieutenant? One of the Germans said Falschirm. That means parachute. They must have seen our flyboy bail out. How far are we going behind their lines, Lieutenant? Far enough to find him. Boy likes to advertise, doesn't he? All right, take it easy. We may not be the first ones here. Stupid jerk. How are pilots supposed to hide those things? Maybe use her, Harmon. Poor guy will probably be real glad to see us. All right, knock it off. Get this thing down and keep looking for him. Well, it's about time you people showed up. One more. Come on, give it one more pull. Okay, now stow it behind the bush. We don't have time to bury it. Go ahead. Find there. Oh, uh, I heard that crack about this stupid jerk who didn't hide his shoot. You found me because of it, didn't you? I didn't mean anything personal, Major. Take care of the shoot, Harmon. Major? We better start heading back to our lines. Not yet, Lieutenant. We're picking up one more man. We thought only one plane came down. Well, you thought wrong. My wingman got shot down, too. Nobody said anything about a wingman. Well, he's over there on that ridge. He's uh, bleeding badly. You been there? Yep. As soon as I got out of the tree, I pulled him behind some cover and hit his chute. He's, uh, he's shot up, but he's alive. We'll have to make a litter to carry him back. Well, Major, this, uh, this area is crawling with Germans. They're all looking for you. Well, then we'd better hurry, Lieutenant. Sir? Brass told me that you're uh, an ace worth a million bucks to our side. Now, may I suggest you go off with Harmon and Palmer? Doc and I'll take care of you. I don't women. want any of your suggestions. Let's go. It's a real hot rock. Well, at least he's not about to run out on his buddy. Let's move, Major. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, I don't know one end of a P-47 from the other. But down here, I can smell an enemy trap a mile off. You said you put him under cover. That's right. He could have come to and crawled out. That's possible, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's just what it looks like. That's what's wrong with it. Will you give me just five minutes to circle him? OK, five minutes. Harmon, bomber, you're on me. as you can, Major. If there's any shooting, it might bring the Germans down on us. something, Hanley. He's losing blood. We've got to get him out of here. We've all got to get out of here, Major, before we get the German army down on us. We're going to need a stretcher, sir. Where's Palmer? Palmer's dead. All because some hot shot jumped the gun. All right, take it easy, Harlan. Somebody had to do something. They were going to open up. Oh, sure they were. You could read their minds, huh, soldier? All I know is that because of you, he was caught out there like a sitting duck. Harmon. Take the jackets off the Germans, make a stretch right of Go ahead. Say what you're thinking, Lieutenant. My job is to get you out of here alive, sir. You better get going. Trouble keeping up. Don't worry. Those fly boys are all supermen.
lot of this? I don't think so. They're just looking for the down flyers. And they're heading this way. Lieutenant Doc, I'm going to check the road. Before, sir? When I first found him, can he take any more? Too soon, might kill him. Then we better move out of here. Let's move faster. That won't be easy. Germans all over the place. Apparently they want to make a big deal out of capturing you. How do they know who they shot down anyway? I had my kills marked on the side of my ship, those iron crosses. The Luftwaffe could have radioed down. How many you got? Twenty-two. Hey, that reminds me, Lieutenant. You better put another notch in your carbine. You got that sergeant back there, remember? Maybe you'll get issued a silk scarf if you get a few more. Knock it off, Armin. I'll handle this. I suppose you think this scarf of mine is some hot rock ornament left over from the First World War, huh? Why, no, sir, I... Shut up, soldier. I'm talking to you. Now, we keep alive up there by making sure no Jerry gets on our tail and surprises us. In order to do that, we keep our heads on a swivel, heads and eyes moving all the time, all the time. Before I got this, I rubbed my neck raw on this wool shirt, so I'm going to keep right on wearing it. You uh, got any other smart coming? No, sir. Let's move. Straight ahead. I thought our lines were more to the west, Lieutenant. They are, sir. So are the Germans who are looking for you. All right, we'll go your way. Thank you. 
I still say he's hurt. All right, take five. I keep going. You're hurt, aren't you, Major? I'll make it. Doc! Take a deep breath, Major. You should have said something about this before, sir. Major, I'm running out of bandages. Uh, could I use that scar? How's Lieutenant Garvey doing? Not so good, sir. He's getting weaker. I can't stop the bleeding. Your heading's still the same, Hammy? Yes, sir. And uh, that way is still the shortest distance to our lines, huh? Yes, sir. Take it. Major, the Germans in there. Lots of them. Well, can you guarantee the way you're heading? There aren't any that way? No, sir, but... And take my way. Major. Now. Yes, sir. I've never seen their faces before. Come on, let's get out of here. They're both 
dead, sir. All right, we got to get out of here. One of the crowds got away. Major, let's move. This time we go my way. Look, Major, we're three guys in a tough spot. Either we help each other and get out of here, or we're going to rot here. Come on. Let's go. Shady spot, Lieutenant, so you and the Major can scoot out of here. All right, keep quiet, Doc. We're almost to the valley. And then? Then, if the crowds haven't sealed it off, we got a chance to get back in the way we came. Let's go. afraid of this. When we came in after you, Major, the main roads were covered. They had gun positions all over the edge of the valley. Now they've closed this side road. Well, what do we do? Wait until it gets dark? Can't. The crowd that got away isn't going to wait one second before he spreads the word. They can start coming this area any minute. You figure it's my fault, don't you, what happened to him? I didn't say that. You figure I was wrong, taking over from you, ordering that shortcut back there. Look, Major, I've stayed sane so far because I've learned not to cry over spilled blood, no matter whose it was or how it was spilled. Now, in the war down here, you have to learn to depend on the other guy. And if he goofs, well, that's the name of the game in the infantry. You ever fly? Looks nice and clean and secure up there, doesn't it? It's not. Not always. Oh, sure, you got guns, you got speed, you got best equipment money can buy, but so is the other man who's out to get you. And there's no place to hide up there. There's no place to take a break. And every time you go up, you're just a little less scared because... because you're alone. Sure, your wingman is supposed to be there. He's supposed to protect you, but... someday you know he might fail you. Someday you might need him. Then he might not be there. 
that what happened to you today, Garvey failure? I failed him. and we can't get through, what do we do? Sweat. I hope that's the last roadblock between here and home. If the guy on the motorcycle heads back, we can be pretty sure it is. There's no cover. You can't just walk through it. Yeah, maybe we can ride. Let me have your hat, Major. Why? Well, that motorcycle courier is looking for a hotshot pilot. Maybe I can make it easy for him. Chad's doing that. Well, I'm a hero. Didn't I tell you that? What's next? Get him and his bike off the road. Now, look, I'll tell you once again, I don't know anything about riding one of those things. Neither does Doc. You're the only one that does, so you have to take him. If anybody goes, Major, it has to be you. Suppose I ordered him to go with you. You're the one we came after. Well, now, don't give me that worth a million bunk again. He's wounded, he should go. I'll tell you, Major, I'd just soon take my chances with the Krauts rather than ride that motorcycle with a lieutenant. No offense, sir. Well, Major, it's gotta be you. You stay low. We'll come back and get you somehow after dark. Yes, sir. Let's go. Happy landings, Major.
on, let's get out of here. You'll have to drive, Major. I can't handle the throttle. Okay. Ignition's here. Yeah, I saw you. Listen, I don't like leaving Doc back there. You may not be able to see him after dark. I could bring him back now. We can't run a shuttle service to the Germans, Major. I could go around the Germans, cross country. You don't stand a chance. Cross country, but I think we'd better take the road going back. Uh, we can't get through the field of both of us on this thing. Come on. Well, yeah, but come on. We'll tiptoe away. Wenn wir überall gesucht werden, nichts tun können. Ja, niemand gehört. Ja, Nein, weil sie im Weinzelamt oder anderen. Sehr gut, sehr gut.
get out of here. I'll drive. Okay, Major. No argument, huh? No argument.